On the stand here today we're looking at a number of motorsport transmissions, endurance car transmissions, uh, world rally car transmissions and we're, we're actually showcasing a number of our uh, technologies so we're looking at uh, engines as well, powertrain uh, and, and clearly we're looking at uh, motorsport for the, for, the, for the future as well if you like. So today I give a presentation on the grid of the future so what we expect to see on the grid in 10 years time. Um, we'll be looking at uh, more hybridization and, and ultimately even things like uh, autonomous vehicles, autonomous racing which is a Perhaps a bit strange to us as motorsport fans, but, but clearly is a really relevant and interesting technology, which, which uh, we will see in, in, in motorsport as we've seen in um, as we see road cars evolve as well. And for Ricardo, important to to look at that sector and understand where the industry is going. So for Ricardo, it's extremely important, um, and clearly, um, really since the business was founded over a hundred years ago, we've been interested in uh, efficiency. Uh, Harry Ricardo, our founder, was a uh, he started his career trying to develop efficient gasoline engines, and one of his first um, one of his first claims to fame was was actually doing um, a challenge on a motorcycle to see how many miles per gallon he could achieve. And and really, the business ever since has been all about reducing waste and improving efficiency. And and today, that's absolutely the core of our business. So we work with manufacturers all over the world to try and improve the efficiency of their powertrain. Uh, you know, the ubiquitous downsized gasoline engine that we're all driving in Europe now is something that we were looking at direct injection at Ricardo maybe 20 years ago when I started and, and that's the theme for the future. The internal combustion engine is here to, to last a bit longer, uh, I hope to, till I retire actually, for certainly in the next 20 years, but, but obviously that's now going to be combined with um, high degrees of electrification and hybridization um, and efficient transmissions and light weighting and all of those elements are still absolutely key to Ricardo's tech, um, consultancy business. And of course that expertise helps when the industry is perhaps driven sometimes by legislation in the motorsport sector if it's by the regulators saying you have to meet certain standards but in a way it's better to be looking at it before you're pushed into it. I, I think that's right and I think, I, I think what's really important at the moment is the legislation has clearly moved on um, a great deal uh, and very very quickly and even in places like China now the, the, the regulation has probably moved far faster than anybody would imagine in terms of improving uh, efficiency. But I think the sort of recent, over the last year, there's been an awful lot of um, awareness raised about the noxious emissions and the uh, CO2 of our vehicles. And I think uh, generally people are, are, are more educated and understand more. And I think the manufacturers have really had to take it upon themselves to not, to not only um, sort of follow the, the rule of the law, if you like, but also to, to, to predict what, what real world improvements are and predict what, what the genuine um, needs are going, going forward. And I think manufacturers are now, you know, I've taken, even in the last year, I've taken a step forward, if you like, and said, this is what we should be producing rather than this is what we're made to be producing. And it's really interesting at the motorsport show because I think motorsport, and I will use Formula One as an example, they're, they're leading the way in lean combustion systems, so high efficiency, um, and, and I think motorsport rules and regulations and, and the grid of the future, if you like, will, will be heavily dictated by, the, um, by, by the, the desires and the needs of the motor industry to, to push that, that, that themselves forward to, to high efficiency and, and high efficiency uh, vehicles. And you've met some interesting people here, and, and obviously, importantly, for the company, possible leads. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we've met a lot of, of interesting people and, and some of it is catching up with, with old friends that we haven't seen for a while and, and some of it is, is meeting new people who are offering really intelligent solutions for, uh, it's, you know, even this morning a uh, guy came up to me to talk about um, cooling systems, advanced cooling systems, absolutely relevant to our future passenger car um, technologies. You know, we're looking at millicycle engines with advanced boosting, and, and of course it's really important there that we have the state of the art, latest and greatest cooling systems and motorsport's great, it's a bit unencumbered if you like with, with, with um, some of its technologies are really really uh, more advanced than we, can, than we can afford to do in the passenger car industry but there will always be that trickle down and ultimately uh, we can build our prototypes with the guys here and then ultimately hopefully some of those technologies will become mainstream in the future.